Hello again and welcome to another marine engineering video by Adventure Story Channel. Today I have a very nice video for you, but before I introduction to this video, I like to remember to you to visit my new websites. There you will find whatever you like, clothes, items, check it and sure you will like it because it is from Adventure Story. So guys, let's start and look carefully this interesting lesson today, okay? And today also I will have some suggestions and some improvements in that small field of engineering, okay? And you will tell me also what you are thinking. So as you understand and you have seen now, we will talk about the height of resilient supports in loaded condition. Okay, as you know, diesel generators have some supports. These supports called resilient. Okay, and as we see here, we have eight pieces on six cylinder uh, diesel generator engine. Okay, here we write the vessel name the diesel generator number, the inspection date, the hull number of the ship, the serial number of diesel generator and the running hours. So we have everything in this page. It is easy to see how to measure. Okay, This is how it looks like in uh, the sketch uh, this resilient. Okay, And what we measure is this HL from here to here in millimeters and also the C, which is inner inside here. And we need to adjust this clearance C inside in the middle between interval buffer and steel shim. Internal buffer and steel shim is here inside, okay? Which must be four millimeters. And here down, what we have? We have before the measurement, okay? Before uh, the adjustment, what was the measurements of each side okay as you can see 1a it's 167 hl here it refers here 1b refers to the other side okay hl and s the inner side of the resilient and after the adjustment when we adjust the c to four millimeters how the height we will change this HL height, okay? So that is it. This procedure is very, very simple. Need to be careful with the measurements with your shims. And also I have prepared some picture here. This is how it look like this resilient. And here is the space where you enter your filler gauges to measure the C. Okay, the C, which is here this one okay this C clearance so let's see here where it's enter the gauge okay also here on the other side and also what we observe here we observe for any cracks for any loose of these four nuts the condition okay the filler gauges here okay and here we adjust I have the filler gauges here and I have losing a cover here let's see if it show here okay there is a cover here you just remove by some screws and then when you pull out this cover you can adjust by this nut here okay this is a nut and you turn a little back and little forward to see where is your clearance? Okay, this is the cup. This is the locking allens, which locks here. And when you adjust at, let's say, four millimeters clearance here, and you put back this cover, okay, you need to find the holes, okay? Because sometimes if it's a little bit moved from these holes, you cannot enter that one, okay? You must find exactly what is the golden point so here it's also 
and all this rubber have some type here some number do not overpaint here because maybe you will change your measurement this is i lock the cup already adjust it okay the resilient mounting and this is the lock allen bolts okay this is the cover this is the cover i talk about okay and these allens go here and locked here okay you see have a lot of positions when you turn this sure the position change okay and also your cup this is locking cup plastic made must have also some locking place there which is very very important so it's 22 spanner as i see here for himson engine 22 spanner some allen sets you will need some flashlights some filler gauges and also for sure you will need a caliper a good caliper okay let's move on to see what we have all the condition must be checked for any cracks okay and this is the caliper okay and from here we measure this hl before you show here this is the c measurement and hl measurement is from here do not overpaint i tell again the surfaces here as you can see from here hl this is with caliper okay i uh, take a good caliper a nice caliper a new caliper because the calipers also they're wasted through the time keep it straight as much as possible okay and good luck to your measurements that i have observed it's the cleanliness okay this is very very important also but i have one condition i will show you which may be that resilient okay let's let's say better picture here okay do not over tight this uh, these allens okay do not over tight them because i have a condition that i cannot take out this uh, bolts was so much over tight and also this resilient moving so if you tight that so that one okay and resilient also had move had change, pos change position it will press and will be stressed more and will be locked okay by the pressure so be careful to clean the threads do not over tight these bolts because these bolts it's only for locking okay this cap and to prevent your uh, inner bolt okay to move in here this only a lock cap do not over tight as i said again because next engineers will have trouble to release that and this is the most common problem that we faced on board okay over tightness it's a bad thing okay just imagine uh, how small this bolt is and how small pressure this bolt needs uh, bolt needs okay uh, there is if you don't know the tightness okay or you uh, believe that will be released okay you can take a table with the tightening torts for each bolt size okay which is very very important okay that is it i believe this video was was very short was interesting how to adjust and why it's important to adjust these resilient mountings okay because the alignment of all generator here okay all generator engine here and all weights that contains inside okay it's very very important due to some forces that produces inside the engine okay and the moving parts we supposed to keep our engine aligned okay our weights must be aligned because here it's a generator side 
here it's diesel side okay and if we do not keep that one okay in equal measurements and uh, clearances that manufacturer specified next this will can lead to another problems to problems inside the bearings okay on the crankshaft on the camshaft okay and all the bearings because the alignment of the engine will be different okay we'll have some degrees to the left or to the right or maybe the engine will be bent like that little bit with the weight so all the weights must be distributed equally through all this frame okay of the engine and this is very very important in not only in uh, diesel engines in everything in all constructions okay must be aligned as we know okay if you know something else you can propose it but this is from where the base start okay of the engine and this is what keeps the engine with the frame of the ship okay and this is the base this is like the foot the the feet of the human without the feet you cannot stand okay properly so guys i believe this video helped a lot to understand what is going on and how the engine is supported with these resilient supports and how to adjust them how to check them how to maintenance them and keep them in good condition Thank you for watching, stay tuned to Adventure Story channel, don't forget more videos and new material coming in the future and I will try to make more interesting and interactive videos with you. Don't forget your comments, your likes, your thumbs up and stay tuned to Adventure Story, bye bye!